My name is Blanca Rangel, and I'm going to help you solve problem 6.38 of night. So we have a five kilogram object initially at rest. Initially at rest. And it's subjected to a time varying force shown in the figure below. So this is five kilograms. Mass equals five kilograms. What is the object's velocity at time equals six seconds? OK, so the first thing um, we want to do is we want to analyze this table. So this table is the time variating force and it goes from zero to ten. Uh, zero to four seconds. And then it goes back to zero, then it remains like that for four seconds. So. Remember, um, force equals mass times acceleration. And we want to make this connection between this is this is forces kinematics. So remember. For kinematics, we're going to have an acceleration. So these accelerations are the ones that are going to be the same, and they're the ones that we're going to be able to relate forces back to kinematics and kinematics to forces. And this is what we call dynamics. So let's do the dynamic problem. So in order to us, for us to find the velocity at time equals six seconds, we need to find the acceleration. So again, force equals mass and acceleration. And I'm going to do it. Let me, I'm going to make another graph. So this is. Pop, 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 pop. So we're going to have the same times. So this is zero, two seconds. Oops. Two seconds, four seconds, and six seconds. So let's find the max value of this problem. So we have the max value, the force is 10, and the mass is 5. So I'm going to find the max acceleration. So acceleration equals force divided by mass. So 10 divided by 5, then newtons divided by 5 kilograms, that gives us a total of 2 meters per second square. Okay, so this is going to be 1, 2. It's going to go 2 meters per second square. Down. Let me use another color. One, two, and let's use. I have. There you go. So now to connect the dots. There you go. Mm -hmm. And this is acceleration versus time. So now going back to going back to kinematics, um, remember the position versus time graphs, velocity versus time graph, and acceleration versus time graph. So now we have an acceleration versus time graph. So what we're gonna do is like this find out that the definition in respect of definition of time of acceleration in respect of time equals to the change in velocity in respect of time. So now if you want to find the velocity at time equals six seconds, we're going to solve for acceleration for velocity. So I'm going to take this dt to the other side. 
So acceleration is a function of time. Index pair of time equals dB. If I want to get rid of the, the derivative terms, I'll need to take the definite integral. So this is from zero to time from B initial from B final. Okay. Mm, let's do time initial, time final. Okay. So we have that if we solve this integral, d d d t in respect of b, we're gonna get b from b initial to b final equals to the integral from t initial to t final of acceleration as a function of time in respect of time. So we do this again. Simplify a little further. So I have velocity final minus velocity initial equals the integral of time zero, time final, acceleration as a function of time in respect of time. And since I'm looking for final velocity, I'm going to have that final velocity equals initial velocity plus the integral from time initial to time final of acceleration as a function of time in respect of time. So our problem here is asking us to find the velocity at time equals six seconds. Okay, so we're going to take the integral from zero to six seconds. And initial velocity starts at rest, so this is zero. So our final velocity equals to the integral from zero to six of acceleration as a function of time dt. So in this case, another, another term for the integral is what we call the area under the curve. So our velocity final is going to be the area under the curve for the acceleration, acceleration graph from zero to six seconds. So let's get the area under the curve. We have that the shape. It's a triangle. Can I get this area? So the shape is a triangle, so final velocity equals the area of this triangle. So it is the base is two, four. So have base times height over two. And so final equals base is four, height is two over two. Plus, we have here base times height, and this is zero, zero. Plus zero. So, our total area of this object, it's four meters per second. And the speed, the final velocity at time equals six seconds, it's four meters per second. the right answer yes four meters per second okay so that's it for this problem thank you so much see you next time